Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to my studio. I'm Yuzo Koshiro. Today, I'm going to talk about Micron Basic magazine. I'm not sure if you know about this magazine, but this magazine really means a lot to me. Have you ever thought why the Japanese game industry has been developed? Why many game creators are born and could create various kinds of great games? I think there is a remarkable reason that hasn't been pointed out very much. That is the existence of computer magazines. Before we dive into the story of the game music on myself, I want to talk about those magazines because that's a very important key to describe the growth of the Japanese game industry and game music. And another reason why I chose this topic is that I've never seen videos like this that, that are talked about Japanese computer magazines. So now let's talk about that, all right? In the early 80s, there are several great computer magazines published almost monthly like ASCII, Micron Basic Magazine, I.O., Login, just to name a few. The publishers often published in the magazines the source code of the games written in the basic or the machine language. To play the games, you have to type in the source code to your computer first. You need a lot of time to finish it if the code is huge. When you have done, you run the code. You need to do that over and over again until you don't get any errors. If it works, you can enjoy the games finally. That was pretty hard work. Micron Basic Magazine, one of the most popular computer magazines among lots of game fans in Japan, was published from 1982 to 2003 by the Denpa Shimbun Corporation. Micron means microcomputer. They had offered a lot of source codes for games running on various kinds of home computers. As the book title shows BASIC, they had literally offered lots of games written in BASIC. Since BASIC is very easy to understand and readable, many people including newbies could enjoy programming. That means they can study programming very easily. Back in the day, Many Japanese electronics manufacturers competed for the home computer share, for instance, NEC PC series, Sharp MZ, and X series, Fujitsu FM series, Toshiba, Hitachi, Sony, Panasonic, and more. They produced various kinds of home computers. Although at the time when NEC and Sharp had gotten most of the home computer share in the end, Micron Basic Magazine offered more than 15 games every month for almost every computer as possible, even if that was a minor machine. That's one of the reasons why Micron Basic Magazine has loved my many computer game fans. Most of the people I've met in the game industry say that they grew up with Micron Basic Magazine and they acquired basic knowledge of programming technique thanks to them. Therefore, you can say that Micron Basic Magazine has played one of the biggest roles among the game industry in Japan. Micron Basic Magazine had also put effort into the articles about the walkthrough of the arcade games and the PC games. Each game reviewer wrote walkthroughs monthly for games that newly released around that time. In the days before the internet, people got many tips from game magazines. That was the one and only information media to get advanced playing technique for the games. I think that that review style that each game reviewer is responsible for his dedicated walkthrough was established for the first time by Micron Basic Magazine. Right here, I have a special edition of Micron Basic Magazine published in 1985 that is featured Namco Classic Arcade Games. Well, probably you might not have been able to say that is classic game at that time because the games in this book were not classic when they published it. You know what I mean? You might think that this book offers mainly walkthroughs for those Namco games. That is partly correct. But another interesting thing I want to add is this book offers also dot graphics and the music scores for both soundtracks and the sound effects used in the game. This score is the sound effect of when Gilgamesh, the main character of the Tower of Draga, opened the gate. And this score is also the sound effect that Pac-Man bumped into the enemy and died and disappeared. Let me check how these sound effects are like. I used to use N88 Basic to play the sound, but now 
just for convenience. I'm gonna use Mucom 88, which is a music compiler that I created myself back in the day. Mucom 88 is more accurate, faster, easier to use than N88 Basic. This is amazing, right? Actually, the Droga sound effect I typed in right here is very close to the original, but the Pac-Man sound effect is slightly different. I think it's because of the differences between the FM sound chip and the WSC sound chip, which is made by Namco, but that's no big deal. We couldn't care less, <laughs> okay? Anyway, I was astonished when I saw this score for the first time. I found that the sound effect was made with a sequence of music notes. I have additional information that I want to tell you about Mucom 88. Last year, Mucom 88 has been ported to the Microsoft Windows. That is called Mucom 88 Windows. Mucom 88 Windows also contains a bunch of sample MMLs from the Streets of Rage series, The Revenge of Shinobi, and others that are created in the past. Those were actually used in the Genesis Mega Drive games. Isn't that great? Also, that is an open source project, so everyone can freely access to the source code and modify something and expand functions and so on. Honestly, I don't know much about open source project kind of things, but if you're interested in it, you can check out the link in the description box down below. And I'm thinking to create the other videos that I describe how to use the Mucom 88 in the future. Thanks for letting me tell you about the Mucom 88 Windows. So now let's go back to the story. Since I own the first model of PC88 computer by NEC, which has no sound system whatsoever, I couldn't play the sound effects only by itself. We needed an external sound board to do that. Luckily, one of my friends bought a PC88 SR just at that time. PC88 SR is a later model of PC88. It was the very first model that NEC adopted Yamaha YM2203 FM sound chip on board. I was so excited. I went to his house after school and typed in the notes very carefully looking at the book. I was lost in my words when first the sound came out from the small speaker on his PC88SR because it was played perfectly the same as I heard in the original arcade game. I can't forget that moment. That was my first experience of game music played on the computer. This page shows that Micron Basic Magazine is running the Namco Sound and Illustrations Program competition for any home computers. I found this page and right after that, I started to create a music program named the Tower of Draga Music Construction with my friend's PC88SR. With this program, you can play any Druaga music in order of preference. I brought this program to the Micom Basic Magazine office as the competition deadline was already over. They were very amazed to hear the sound as it was played like a real Druaga soundtrack. Soon after that, 
They asked me to join them as a programming staff and write an article monthly about the video game music program. Since I'm a very fan of Micron Basic Magazine, I willingly accepted their offer and started up the article called The Video Game Music Program. That was a day when I was involved in the computer game industry for the first time when I was 17 in 1985. That's all for today. How's the story? It was really interesting, right? I made this video because I wanted to know how great the Micron Basic magazine and other computer magazines affected the game industry in Japan. But this is a story from my perspective. That is only one part of their greatness. If there is another opportunity, I'll tell you more about it. So, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.